Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use apps like Google Cardboard and Photosphere if your phone doesn't have a gyroscope. Now just to be up front, you'll need to be rooted with the Exposed Framework installed for this one. But back on topic, a lot of mid-range phones are lacking a gyroscope sensor these days, because it's not exactly essential, and leaving it out keeps the price point down. A few examples are the Moto X Play and the 3rd Gen Moto G, as well as some of the Galaxy Grand models and a whole slew of others. But some apps won't work properly without a gyroscope, like Google Cardboard and the Photosphere feature in Google Camera. So with that in mind, developer Phrase W created an exposed module that uses your other sensors to simulate gyroscope data. By combining the readings from your compass and accelerometer, the module can calculate all the data a gyroscope would collect anyway. So then it takes this data and fools other apps into thinking it's coming directly from a real gyroscope sensor, which means that apps like Google Cardboard will finally work. But to be clear, this won't fix the VR mode on Pokemon Go. The developer is trying his best to make that work, so I'll keep an eye out for updates and let you know if it ever happens. In the meantime, start by heading to the download section in your exposed installer app and searching Virtual Sensor which is all one word. From there, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the versions tab and hit the download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From here, you just need to restart your phone to wrap things up. So let me take care of that real quick. When you get back up, no further setup is needed. From now on, the majority of apps will just think your phone has a gyroscope and they should all work as intended. My phone has a gyroscope built in, so I can't demonstrate the before and after, but all the user reports say that this module works as advertised. The only issue worth noting is that the simulated gyroscope data can lead to a little jitter here and there, but it's still a lot better than not working at all. If you want, you can actually open the Virtual Sensor app to see a live view of the data it's creating, but there isn't anything you can change in settings yet. Basically though, you can finally use Google Cardboard with a phone that doesn't have a gyroscope, and that's actually awesome. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!